Hi everyone, Calvin here. Today I'm going to do a quick setup on a game that I've designed, heavily inspired by another game called Pandemic the Board Game by Z-Man Games. But this game today we're going to be doing a setup on is what uh, what's called Mombatuk and the Bjork Invasion. This is another series that I'm, you know, stringing along for the hero, uh, fictional character hero called Mombatuk. And his friends, where they all band together to fight an invasion by a creature in North Borneo called Biawak. And these are like mythical lizard-like uh, creatures that are actually invading the peaceful land of Momogun, which we know it as North Borneo today. And what you need to do is to fight these three brothers, who are the leaders of the Biawak. And they have, you know, come into the land and they have started invading uh, the peaceful land so what you need to do is you need to defeat them so this is a co-op co game uh, where it's uh, two to three players for the moment that's what I've tested it it seems to work and okay we, before I go on about that so let's talk about uh, what you need the components you need for this game first off you need the location cards these are the location there's actually four zones in this in this board, which is this A3 board, which you need to print out as well. So these are the location card will tell you where all the invasion of the Bialak will appear. We'll set that aside. And we have the warrior cards. These are the warrior cards who give you uh, the character's abilities that needs to be drawn every turn. And of obviously the swarm cards which goes into the warrior cards where you, you know where you get the swarm event. You will also have strategy cards. With the start of the game, each character get one strategy card each randomly. So just put that there. And obviously, we need to print out the character cards, which tells you some of the abilities they have. We're gonna be playing a two-player game today. So it'll be Mombatuk and Sumina. So and then and finally we need to print out obviously the the, the three characters uh, profile which is the leaders of the Bjork leader that we need to defeat. Uh, I'll show you how to, well, I'll show you how to do heroic comment with, when the time comes. But other than that, we'll need a, we'll need dice for combat. It's a dice game. We need uh, tokens for tracking or the swan tracker and the dread tracker. And two dice, preferably different colors if you can, for their health. Health and special abilities, uh, because each character has different abilities, uh, which I will explain in the playthrough. So first off, we need to draw two two warrior cards each for the characters. So each person will draw two cards, and after that, we take the three swarm cards. What? No, sorry, we take the warrior card deck. We split it into three equal parts. For the moment, I'll just got. I'm just gonna wing it. Uh, well, that seems to be about right. <laughs> then we take the three Swarm event cards and we'll put it in each pile. And we'll give them a shuffle. Put it there. Get out a shuffle. And put it on the top. And take that and give that a shuffle. And there goes your Warrior deck. And we'll just leave it aside for each to be drawn each turn. Now we will set up the the location of the three Bjork bosses, the leaders. So we just want because there's four zones in this game. So we'll just have to look at three zones where they are randomly. So we'll just do you know TM trio, that's pretty good to you. Uh well that's the same zone, so let's see. Oh, same zone. Oh, same zone. Oh, R. So there we go. We'll start with R3. Ooh, do, 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 do. R3. TM. TM3. TM3 is over here. And TU3. There we go. Then we take the, the swarm cards again. We'll give them a shuffle. Then we'll begin the invasion. So there's a there's a bit of uh, rules which I've written here. I mean, this is a prototype game. It's not a f <laughs> there's still some quirks to be you know worked out. 
but it, it is playable. But I've written all the some of my notes here, so whoever you know got the this board will be able to kind of figure out how to play it. I <laughs> I hope. So first off, we draw the first card. TM four. This is where the Biawak will first emerge. So we take two Biawak and a lieutenant or lieutenant. Uh, TM four. Where is where is TM four? do do do. Yeah, they appear in the timber mill in Tambunan. This, well, it's Ranau, Tambunan, Tuaran, and Keningau. It's kind of like the names <laughs> in Sabah itself, where I'm from. But this is just a, you know, it's just taking us inspiration to the location. The so next one will be TU2. So we'll take one Biawak and one Lieutenant TU2. Where are you, TU2? Doop. Put it there, and finally the last lieutenant will appear in TM five. TM five is the swamp. Okay, that's basically set up, I think. Yes, that's basically set up, and then finally your two characters, or if if you're playing three characters, or you always take three characters, but this game will have two characters. Uh, we'll start in the last zone where the Biawak has not invaded. We usually start at the the main village, which is the, the part de depicted by the number one on the zone. So there you have it. That's uh, set up for us for Mombatuk and the Biawak invasion. This is a story that I'm trying to progress based on a fictional character Mombatuk in the land of Borneo, where this one will be his, uh, where he will find his friends, to fight off the Biawak invasion, and then become the hero of Momogun and set up their first mercenary hero group called the Wings of Bugang. So in the next video, we will show you I will show you how we actually play the game. We'll do a couple of turns so you guys know how to um well play the game, I suppose. <laughs> Again, it's a prototype game. Uh still some quirks to be worked out. The graphic is not set, it's you know, depending if I'm going to spend more time working on it, graphics might change. But this is basically set up and the story of Mombatu and his friends. Um, so there you have it. So be sure to check out my other games in the description below. And if you like this content, you can give me a thumbs up. Or you can buy me a coffee uh, if you really like the content that I'm doing. But until the next video, which I will talk about you know, how we actually start playing the game. You guys go out and play games.